What are your thoughts on tonight against a top-ranked team like uh, Minnesota? Yeah, they're a really skilled team, but uh, I thought we battled hard, and we were good on the four check. And the positive thing is we had our chances, so we just got to bury them tomorrow. Yeah. Did it feel a lot like the North Dakota game to you guys? Uh, they started fast. Yeah. You guys came back and kind of gained control again, and then um, you thought something special might happen in the third? Yeah, I mean, we weren't too worried when we were down 2 nothing because we've been there before. So, yeah, it felt similar to that game, and we thought we were going to be able to battle back, but it's just too bad that we couldn't there. So. How do you battle these guys again tomorrow night now that you've seen them once? Um, I mean, we know we can play with them. Uh, that's what we found out tonight. So uh, just going into the game with confidence. Coach was saying that you guys know you're better than a 7-7 seven and seven team, but at the end of the day, wins and losses are the only thing that matters. How do you find a way to be better than 7-7 seven and seven and win these close games? Uh, I mean, that's, that's a tough thing to <laughs> figure out, and I think – I don't even know it's a tough one, but we just got to stick with it and keep battling. I think, like, the big thing is we just got to score our chances. Like, we had them. Um, and, you know, they had their chances too, but the team that, you know, bears down on those chances ends up winning it. So we just got to focus on that. I, I thought you got a piece of level shot there. Did you think that, that it was you for a second, or did he know the whole time that, that he was the one who got it by? Oh, it actually it did. It hit, yeah, it hit, my, it hit the heel. Like, I'm going to say, yeah. Okay. It was a good shot by Tim. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Chance after chance, what's just going to be that you know, thing that's going to put you over the edge tomorrow night and you get those chances to just fall? Um, I think, you know, I think we found out we could play with them tonight. So just going in the game confident. We can't start down 2 nothing like we did. Um, and I think if we maybe get the lead or we have a better first period, we could, you know, end up with a better result. Yeah, you guys came out in the second with a little fire and, and playing with a little more freedom. What was the, what was the kick in the rear end that got you guys there? Yeah, our coach told us we had to be more intense, and he was right. So, yeah, I think we just went with that. What was the message there in the last two minutes after that timeout? Um, you know, we have our systems there in the end for the six on five, so we know what we need to do there. But just putting pucks on net and crashing net and try to, you know, we had a close one there at the end from the pass behind the net in front. So, yeah, just putting pucks on net and going to the net. Yeah. Like a tight game like this, what was kind of like the vibe or the messages going on in the locker room after? Um, like you mean for tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, just to uh, stick with it. Like like I said, we found out we can play with these guys. So um, obviously not starting uh, down to nothing isn't great. So yeah, just have a better first and um, compete like we did in the second and third. Do you guys notice that if players, you know, over Thanksgiving break, still getting a full student section, still getting a lot of bodies and seats tonight and getting behind you guys in key moments, is that, you know, noticed by you guys? Is it, is it a... Yeah. Big force for y'all. Yeah, I think it helps a lot. That's why a lot of teams win on or win at home instead of the road. They have better records because the fans help out a lot with the energy in the building. So yeah, I think it's uh, it's it's awesome here. It's my first year here, obviously, and I'm surprised with how great the fans are. So. How was the energy in the locker room after this game? I mean, I know it's a tough one, but you had those chances. You found that you can play with this team. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we can't get too down on ourselves because we have another one tomorrow. Um, but obviously we want to win, so the energy wasn't too great, but it wasn't bad, so, yeah. Do you guys, in a stretch of time like this season right now, do you try not, you obviously try not to look too far ahead, but, I mean, Denver, the defending champs next weekend, and obviously you're hosting the number two team in the country, so how do you kind of find a way to, to bear down and during the heat of a schedule like this? Yeah, um, it's, it's tough, but I think, you know, starting off the game on the right foot, starting up, uh, getting the lead early helps, but yeah, like you said, we can play with these guys. They're the same as Denver. They're all great teams, but we are too, so we just got to start off uh, with a better first period, I think. That'll help. And for you personally, growing up, obviously playing hockey, to go up against a program like that, um, what did that mean for you individually and to hold a performance like you guys did tonight against a blue blood like Minnesota? Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's cool, obviously, but... Um, yeah, I've been playing college for a couple of years now. I played some, you know, great teams as well. So I try not to think about, you know, the program we're playing or whatever. I just focus on the next game, and it's just another team.